All right, in this video, we're going to find the sum of the series n equals 1 to infinity of n over 5 to the n. And, you know, I think this has the potential to sort of be a, you know, a confusing little problem. Um, kind of one thing that's important is to use this power series representation for 1 over 1 minus x. And again, that's the series from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. So the first thing, I'm just pulling the 1 minus x up to the numerator. So again, we're going to take the derivative with respect to x of that. So we'll take the derivative with respect to x of the right side as well. Okay, on the left side, we're left with negative 1 times 1 minus x to the negative second. You have to use the chain rule and multiply by another negative 1. On the right side, um, so I'm going to think about my index here in a second. x to the n, when we take the derivative, we'll get n times x raised to the n minus 1. So notice if we started this at n equals 0, the first term would be 0. So I'm just going to start this at n equals 1. Okay, so we can rewrite the left side. You know, the two negatives will cancel. So we'll have 1 over 1 minus x to the positive second power. And again, that's equal to... Um, n times x to the n minus 1. I said n times x to the n minus 1, but I wrote too many x's. Let's write this one more time. So 1 over 1 minus x squared. That's n times x to the n minus 1. Okay, so, you know, maybe... I don't know, it's starting to look a little bit more like the original thing. We've got some n, and... Well, we've got n and n, so I'm thinking... You know, how can I make this exponent into just to the n power? Well, I guess what we could do is we could multiply both sides by x. So on the left side, we would have x times 1 minus x squared. And on the right side, we can also multiply by x. Okay, so on the left, we'll have x over 1 minus x squared. On the right side, we'll have the series from 1 to infinity. Of n. And again, we can move the x inside, so since we're multiplying like bases, we'll be left with x raised to the n power. I say, oh, okay, maybe it's starting to seem a little bit closer. And now kind of the, 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 the key observation is um, we're, we're just going to plug in, in this case, x equals 1 fifth, okay, right? The 5's in the denominator. If we plug in 1 fifth, on the left we have 1 fifth, 1 minus a fifth squared. Well, on the right side we would have n equals 1 to infinity of n times, well, let's see, we would have 1 over 5 raised to the n power. But again, we could actually rewrite this as n equals 1 to infinity of n over 5 to the n. So, haha, -ha, we finally figured out, you know, a way to compute it because we've produced this formula on the left side. So, really, all we have to do is just compute the value of this, and now uh, that'll give us our solution. So, let's see. We've got one-fifth. So, one minus one-fifth is going to be four-fifths. Again, that's all going to be squared. So, that's one-fifth over 16 times 25. So that's going to be 1 fifth times 25 over 16. Well, 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 25 uh, 5 times. So to me, it looks like we're going to be left with the value 5 over 16 as our solution.